Welcome to Road to Detailing. This is the first episode of a two-part series where I'm going to show you a simple and easy car interior cleaning without using any sort of professional tool or equipment, but only the basics like a hoover, some brushes and microfiber cloth, and of course the one and only elbow grease. So let's start right away with a quick hoover to get rid of most of the loose dirt on top of our surface, which is a very important step, especially when you are about to clean and freshen up the fabrics in your car and stay tuned, because that's exactly what you will see in this video as part number one. Obviously, without using those professional tools like steamer, wet and vac or tornado, the result you can get is somehow limited, but don't worry if you have no idea what am I talking about here, that's totally normal and I would say for most of us beginners and car care enthusiasts, the level of satisfaction will be good enough by using the right products which intend to give you the result you are after. Let's be honest, the most common choice for interior cleaning from upholstery to all plastic and rubber components is to grab a good old trusty APC and job done, right? It works, it is cheap and you probably have some laying around already, so there is no argue on that, using an APC is a great all-rounder option, however, while it's being super effective, most of them lack of certain things which I rate, like having a great scent, leaving a good finish without a need for a dressing, so that's why using dedicated interior products like these RRC bad boys comes very handy. For full disclosure, I received these products from washme.ie for free of charge with the freedom of my words and first, I was a bit fussy of them because I don't like to clean the interior to be perfectly honest with you, but when I opened the package and get a few sniffs of the products, the smell was blown me away immediately. So after my initial experience, I knew these bad boys should be fun to use and here they are. The fabric cleaner from RRC Bad Boys is a ready-to-use upholstery and fabric cleaner, hence its name. The instructions are pretty much straightforward, also give you some flexibility of use, which you will see more in depth soon. Having a safety lock cap is a nice little touch, especially when you have curious kids around the house. Also, this comes with a 150ml foam generator with a cool design and free space for description by you on the label. RRC recommends to use this for the best foaming action of the product. My only problem with this foam generator is the cap on top, which seems to fall down all the time, so I get in touch with Pascal from washme.ie and he confirmed it shouldn't be like this, so the one I have probably went faulty during transit as it's supposed to click on top and stay there. It's not a big deal for me, I would probably lose the cap anyways because it happens all the time. The fresh scent is absolutely lovely to have and I can't stop sniffing the products, I wish you could smell it too. The fabric, beside the buttons on the door of the driver's side, is one of the dirtiest parts of the car as you can see, so doing a 50-50 here will give you a rough idea what this product is capable of. I use a color lock leather and upholstery brush and what I experience is that a little product goes a long way. As I said before, the instructions are pretty much straightforward, clean with circular motions while on the edges, use a longitudinal motions, then simply dry off the surface by wiping with a clean, dry and absorbent microfiber cloth. The result is pretty impressive and first I thought it could be because of the surface is still wet, so I let that fully air dry and once it happened I was still quite happy with the result I see considering the effort it took, so I kept going to finish up the rest of the car and I think using a single brush on the whole interior is a decent amount of work and require more than just a little bit of elbow grease. So when my fingers and wrists started to give up, I thought that is the right time to see if there is any difference between using a a brush or a microfiber for cleaning the surface because RRC gives you the flexibility to choose between them. The 
the overall dirt situation on the seats wasn't too bad at all as you can see and I personally didn't feel too much of an extra benefit by using the brush which by the way takes at least three times more effort to use so I think using a microfiber cloth on lightly soiled surface is a better choice because it speeds up the process and reduces fatigue in your hands not to mention the hard to reach areas where you can't get in with a brush. At the same time with that being said I think you better off with the brush on heavily soiled surface where you definitely need some extra bite as well. In my opinion the fabric cleaner did a decent job for me and has a good value for money compared to others on the market because you can easily clean the fabrics of your car's interior at around two times with this 500 milliliter button. I used up almost 150 milliliter product and the only thing I didn't clean fully is the floor carpet and my Prius has loads of fabrics basically everywhere alongside with a huge boot so say an extra 100 milliliter could be more than enough just for the floor area which equals the full process to 250 milliliter product per cleaning session. Yes, you definitely need some elbow grease here and there, but the purpose of this video was to show what result you can get without using any special tools, which obviously can lead to even better finish and more ease of work, but don't forget, not everyone has them around or want to invest money in buying them, and if that's you, I hope you found this video useful, if so, please give it a thumbs up. In part number 2 of this series, you can see the same kind of approach while finishing the interior cleaning with the plastic components by using a good range of products to choose from for every need and budget. If this was your first time here at Road to Detailing and you are into car care, please consider to subscribe to the channel for videos like this and turn on the notification bell to be the first who knows when a new video drops. Talk to you in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here, take care and see you soon.